thank you for joining us at our daily countdown of Sport Africa. Welcome once again. Of course, the journey began and it is officially 21 days to the kickoff of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire. Um, Kado Bundari and James are here as usual. And today we'll be taking a trip to uh, the southern part of uh, the continent, Angola precisely. We'll be looking at uh, the camp of the uh, Palangas Negras and how they're preparing for uh, the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations in Cote d'Ivoire. Guys, once again, you are welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Femi. As usual, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, thank you, Femi. Good morning. Happy to be here. Okay, maybe. Okay, all right. We've, we've said to our fans, compliment of the season. Maybe I should also say to James Akaudi and our producer, compliment of the season to you guys. Same to you, Femi. I wish you same. All right. All right. So it is It is also two days uh, before Christmas, and I wish, or we wish all our fans around the world uh, very, very memorable holidays with their families. Okay, guys, let's get started. Uh, Angola, of course, 26 games uh, played at the AFCON since uh, they made their, their debut. And, uh, you know, eight appearances, four wins, 12 draws, 30 goals scored, and they've never gone beyond the quarterfinal stage. Uh, Kyle, they, you look at the, the pedigree of the Palangas Negras um, at the AFCON, you know, they haven't gone uh, beyond the quarterfinals. Would you say that with what they have, if you've played uh, 26 games and you've made eight appearances at the finals, I think you should have a better record. Uh, well, the the, thing, the nature of African football is like there are many countries in the in this category at this level with Angola. They are what I could, what I would refer to as even the third tier of African football. Yeah, there, there is the first, the big six or thereabout. Then there is the next six, and then there's Angola and the rest of those I will call the mid-table African teams. Uh, I'm not surprised that they've not done better than this. Although there was a time you felt Angola were on the rise, especially when they made it to the World Cup in 2006, and that took them to the uh, to the to the Nations Cup, and you would feel that. They could have built on that when they hosted the world, the the Afcon and everything. Everything seemed to have died down now. And Angola, I'm not sure they they eat themselves about any hope that they could. They are able to match the quarterfinal uh, best showing that they they, they 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 have. I don't see that happening to me. Okay, all right, James. Uh, let's look at um. Just like they said, a team that could deny Nigeria a World Cup ticket in 2006. And compared to what we have now, of course, we, we saw uh, in recent times in the Afghan qualifier, particularly against the Black Stars of uh, uh, Ghana, would, would you also say that um, at this point, they've been a regular feature at the Afghan? Should they be really be underrated? Because if you look at the group that they are, it's also not quite easy for them. They'll be uh, playing against Algeria. Burkina Faso and Mauritania. And if you look at this group, you will say Algeria and Burkina Faso will be favorite. Let me, um, it's not um, by accident that uh, they've not really done that well in the African. They've not been, to me, they've not been intentional. You know, for a team that you see signs that wants to win the African, I mean, you will know. I'll take, for, for example, a team like Burkina Faso, you know, at least they have a good record when it comes to the African. Fine, they've never won it. Remember, they got to the semi final in 1998 when they hosted. The last edition they got to the semi final 2013. It was a very uh, good to fight. Good side against them. Nigeria. Yeah. You know, so for me, Angola, they've not, I've not seen that um, intention from them. You know, they always flatter to deceive. Their first appearance was in 1996, you know, and um, two quarter final. Um, Appearances that's just been their best uh, record 19 uh, um, 2008 and 2010 when they hosted. So I'm finding myself in this group. Um, I don't know, it's it's um, it's going to be a tough one because um, you have a Burkina Faso who have not been doing badly at all. Uh, Algeria, too, they'll always be there. The Mauritania, too, fine, you want to look at them as the, the weakest team, but. Uh, from the way they qualified and their good run of form, I think I'm going to have their hands full. So for me, mm, I'm not really banking on them to do something spectacular, you know, because they've not, I've not really seen that um, 
that intention from them that uh, they, you can count on. They just like what Kyle they said, they are not among the, the top second um second tier teams oh, oh. that can place them in um, in the third in the third third set. You know, so uh, let, let's just see how things pans out. But I'm not really looking at their side that maybe so unless it's going to take a miracle. It's only a miracle that will make them win the AFCON. <laughs> okay. Or even go beyond I, the AFCON, honestly. Okay. Okay. I hope Angola do another 2006 at the AFCON so that they will surprise Kyle and James. Uh, but Kyle, let's look at um, the Angola that we saw against the Black Stars of Ghana in the qualifier for the 2023 AFCON. Uh, defeated. Uh, uh, okay. Lost to Ghana 1 0 in, in Kumasi, uh, I think. Then played 1 1 at home, you know, against the Black Stars. Though, in the past, you won't say that Angola wouldn't even come near the quality that you have in the Black Stars. So perhaps you might argue that um, we can't use the strength of the Black Stars to actually measure their own strength uh, as well. But um, this time, you, 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 you just can never say because the game against uh, the Black Stars in Kumasi, it was, it was a late goal from, I think, Antoine Semenyon that actually even denied them a draw against the Black Stars. So it looks like uh, a team that is already steady but they've not been able to go to this level, but they've always been steady. And you can't just say they might be one of the things that, according to you, might just have a tournament bounce at the AFCON. Uh, yeah, that's... that's some, and when we talk about all of these teams going to the AFCON, especially before the first game, Femi, I'm always wary of my analysis because you never can tell uh, who is going to have the tournament bounce. It could be Angola, it could be anybody. So... Save that if you remove that one, I am not too keen on Angola to be honest. <laughs> and right. and uh, without with all due respect, without any disrespect to Ghana, the Ghana team, especially during the qualifiers, <laughs> is not a good measurement. They are not a good, <laughs> yeah, they are not a good <laughs> measurement of how good a team is. Uh, if you are going to judge by how they performed against Ghana, no, Ghana is not a good uh, standard to measure. Uh, whether a team is good or not, as it is. And again, the Ghana team itself could get to the to the AFCON and get that tournament bounce. And you begin to wonder, is this the same thing that struggled good, wombled and fumbled during the qualifiers? So I'm not going to use that. There are two games against Ghana to judge. I'm just thinking off the top of my head that they are not just the team we, we think they should be. Okay, uh, James, if you look at the provisional list they submitted to the Confederation of African Football, it's a mix of uh, foreign-based players and majority of the players playing in Angola and other parts of, uh, of, uh, of, of Africa. I, I think it, you, you want to agree that they also have a mix of experience. No, do not my, it might not be like the likes of uh, uh, Nigeria, Ghana, who have majority of their players you know, playing outside the continent, but you will say that they also have a mix of experience and you can't just, you might just not be able to completely write them off uh, from good deal where you have Algeria, uh, Burkina Faso and Mauritania. If, I mean, even when they had the likes of uh, Flavio, um, is it Aqua? Fabrice Aqua. Fabrice Aqua. 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 They, they didn't do anything special. So even this team, the current team, I don't think they are as talented as, as that um, that's I have said, you know. So for me, if, if you, might also, to have, you, might, you might also want to argue that when Zambia won the Afcon, nobody, as in nobody from nowhere, how many how many stars do Zambia even have in that team uh, uh, back there? Femi, Zambia, they they they, are, they they've had that record. They've they've played in the Afcon final in the in seventy four. They played in ninety four. They got to the semi final ninety six. Um, in two thousand twenty ten, it was super good that edged them out on penalty. So they have the team. So then winning that Afcon, it's not as if they won it by by accident. Fine, nobody gave them a chance. But Zambia is a team that they've been. You see that that they've they have they have been doing so well in the Afcon. They were just not lucky. It was a very super a very good super Eagles team that stopped them in ninety four. So you cannot compare them with Angola. The most of the Angola the players, you find they are, they are, they are first three players. Yeah, most of their players you find them in, in Portugal. You, you know, not the FC Porto or Benfica, but those decent teams in uh, in Portugal, then in South Africa. You know, so they they have quality players, but they don't have those those game changers, those those guys that wow you like 
I mean, you, you can count stars. They are a team that they will give you a decent game. They are not a team that you just run over. Anything that plays them at the half-con, you have your hands full. But they don't have that... Um, it's not a team that you look at and say, ah, this team, they are one of the favorites. They've not... They, the, the signs have not... Nobody is yeah. Nobody wins the, the half-con by accident. It has never happened. It has never happened before. Burkina Faso, they've been they've been around, so they've been pushing, they've been trying. Just like with the example I started with Zambia, they've you see the signs there. Angola, they've not shown us any sign. They've not they've not been intentional about winning the Africa. They just come, give you decent game, maybe get to the quarterfinal, stress some of the big teams, and they are out. So I don't okay. this um, next year's Africa is not going to be anything different. So for me, I'm not really like I said, I'm not really banking on them to do anything special. If they go on to have that bounce, fine. But they are not the, one of the teams that I'm looking at that will do a Zambia or not or go as far as um, what uh, we can have as we did in 2013. Okay. Of course, I'm going to check my crystal ball and I'll be able to know which country will do a Greece of Euro uh, 2000. Well, yeah, Euro 2000 at this AFCON because my, my inner spirit is telling me that there's going to be a surprise team at this AFCON. Uh, hopefully, as the tournament goes on, or even before the tournament, we'll be able to look more at what Angola will be able to do at uh, uh, the AFCON. This is a fine place to leave it today, you know, on our daily countdown. Today has been Angola. Tomorrow, we'll be going into the camp of another team. As we get closer, I think we are now, we can now look into Cote d'Ivoire proper because tomorrow, by tomorrow, it will be 20 days before uh, the kickoff. Kyle and James, thank you so much for your thoughts today on the show. Thank, thank you very much, Remy. See you next, uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah, thank you very much, Remy. Okay, so our fans around the world, please, if you drink, don't drive during this holiday period. It is a time to celebrate Christmas, but please, everything has to do with all distancing. Thank you for working this journey with us. We'll see you tomorrow on our daily calendar. Bye for now.